It's a theoretical relationship. The ship's food concentrates would have been exhausted in a year or so. By which time he would have been eating fruit, vegetables, probes and Probes of faces indicate very little. And probes have been known to be wrong. Dr. Are you speaking scientifically or emotionally? Gentlemen. Quite a bridge, Captain there. Kirk here. Nothing to report, Doctor. We haven't located Mrs. Crater. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? Nope. By taking one of those red pills you gave me last week. You'll sleep. Unusual females. These women have a mysterious magnetic effect on the male members of my crew, including myself. Where's your wife, Professor? She's no concern of yours. We're worried about her safety. Aren't you? Professor, you're a reasonable man. Let me... I'll have you checkmated. Your next move. <laughs> have I ever mentioned you play a very irritating game of chess, Mr. Spock? Irritating? Ah, yes. One of your Earth emotions. Certain you don't know what irritation is? In fact, one of my ancestors married a human female. Terrible. Having bad blood like that. Bridge to briefing line. You're doing a pretty good job. Not when you sat in that room. Take us out of orbit, Mr. Spock. Ahead, warp factor one. Acknowledged, Captain. Warp factor one. All decks alert. All decks alert. As I happen to have a human thing called an adrenaline. This sound most inconvenient, however, if you consider having it removed. Try to cross brains with Spock. I cut you to pieces every time. Has it occurred to you that there's a certain inefficiency in constantly questioning me on things you've already made up your mind about? It gives me emotional security. That's love, bitch. Size rating, Captain. 94%. Let's try for 100, Mr. Spock. Agreed. What are you going to do with that 6% when they give it to you, Jim? And I'm one of Perhaps, Captain, but nevertheless, I... Spock, isn't it enough the Commodore is famous for his hospitality? I, for one, could use a good non-reconstituted meal. Doctor, <laughs> you are a sensualist. You bet your pointed ears I am. Ready whenever you are, Captain. For the high ground. I walked out of my tricorder. you may have feelings toward your captain. Is there some significance to this action? I love you. However, I hate you. But I am identical in every way with Alice 27. Yes, of course. That is exactly why I hate you. Because you are identical. I had a feeling that they would do anything to avoid it, even talk peace. Feeling is not much to go on. Sometimes a feeling, Mr. Spock, is all we humans have to go on. Captain, you almost make me believe in luck. Why, Mr. Spock? 
You almost make me believe in miracles. Sometimes a feeling, Mr. Spock, is all we humans have to go on. Captain, you almost make me believe in luck. Why, Mr. Spock? You almost make me believe in miracles. Take us out of orbit, Mr. Spock. Nothing prepared me for but the privilege of being yours with you. Enjoy yourself, Captain. If I had only felt the warmth within your touch. If I had only seen how you smile when you blush, and I do want to go back to the ship. Captain. Of course, Mr. Smith. You're not going to admit that for the first time in your life, you committed a purely human emotional act. No, sir. <laughs> Mr. Spock. You're a stubborn man. It's a theoretical relationship.